Seth here. Seth, <laughs> Seth McFarland? Yeah, yeah, Seth McFarland. I'll be, I'll be in town. You want to do lunch? I said, well, tomorrow. I said, yeah, I'm free. I wasn't really free. I had to move 20 things. We <laughs> carved that out. Yeah, yeah, I'm free. We met. And I said, wow, he, he likes science. And he called me up. And we, we were still shopping around Cosmos. It happened that he asked me, look, I've been successful. I care about science. I want to do something right for the world. How can I make a difference for the progress of science? And he was thinking, should he fund a science experiment? Should he help fund NASA? And I said, I have no idea for you. <laughs> so I said, help the cosmos. You think maybe? Help us do a pilot, maybe? And then he said, thought about it for a second. I said, I have a better idea. He said, why don't I bring it to Fox? And at that second, I said, that is the worst idea ever. <laughs> They don't understand. And then in, while I'm reciting this to my I said, wait a minute, Fox is 20th century Fox. Fox is Fox Searchlight Picture, the, in, the indie arm that brought Slumdog Millionaire to the screen. 20th century Fox brought Avatar to the screen. And because I was a little distracted by Fox News, but all the rest of it. <laughs> Fox Network as The Simpsons. Never been accused of some conservative agenda going on in The Simpsons. So, I realized that Fox, and at the time they had the number one show on television, in um, American Idol at the time, so I said, wow, Cosmos appeared on Fox. That would be an extraordinary pathway of exposure for science. So about 12 seconds later, I realized it was the most brilliant idea I had ever heard. 